Well, hello everybody, how are we? My name is Senior Corn Ponzu. Welcome back to another video. And we almost got away with Chantal not eating something on camera for a day. We almost got through it, but nope. She had to upload eating the most expensive tacos, which um, if you're wondering why they are the most expensive, if you guys didn't catch her live stream, is she imported $12 El Paso tacos, like taco shells. I wish I was joking about that also. <laughs> Uh, but with that out of the way, I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? And hear about how she paid twelve dollars for El Paso uh, hard taco shells, even though she could have just either made her own or used another brand. But that's too simple. I know how this is gonna go. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to eat this. I hope you're all well. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat this. I haven't had this in a Look, if you're this excited over like very basic white people, like not even an, like an inch of lettuce in sight, tacos, um, therapy, please. I love me some tacos, don't get me wrong, but just no. So long. Like a pack of old El Paso taco kit, like taco kit night. I've been missing that. So let's get into it. Um, I have some tacos. These are plain shell. The only thing that could make these better are cheese or a cool ranch shell. But yeah, uh, I also need lettuce, which I thought I had, but I don't. And jalapeno. Ma'am, so many jokes there I could make, but like we're all thinking the same. But since we have no jalapenos, we are gonna have some hot sauce, which we would probably have anyways, but let's just, uh, these babies. Why is this one not standing anymore? Did you fall over? Oh, and to drink, I have a Kinza citrus drink, <laughs> like Kinza brand of Sprite or something. Okay, bismillah. Let's have a sip. I drink water for the rest of the day. I really do. I'm trying to limit my drinks to just like one. All right, let's go. Beauty, bye. I'm actually using sour cream today and not yogurt. I found some sour cream. The taco seasoning tastes like normal mild taco seasoning. <laughs> oh my God, wow, imagine that. Imagine the taco seasoning tastes like taco seasoning. Oh my God. Oh my God. God, <laughs> makes me want to have a taco real bad. <laughs> well, not in this instance, but just like, God. <laughs> anyway, I'm starting to like pickled jalapenos more than like actual dill pickles. Oh my God. Well, I mean, you should not be eating pickles to begin with because of diabetes and sodium, but nope, that would be too simple, wouldn't it? You know what would be amazing? Dill pickled flavored jalapenos. <laughs> if you don't like messy eating. Or no table manners, you're not gonna like this video. Which unfortunately, this is actually semi what tame. Take that as you will. So we have a new family member here. I did an unboxing of my plaque on stream. Which, oh, by the way, <laughs> the beauty of edited videos. Uh, my most recent stream, live stream. They sent me the foodie beauty plaque. <laughs> so my everyday Miriam one was damaged and I'm like, well, while you're at it, can you change the name? Okay. Um. I'm gonna skip forward a bit because I don't want to hear about the plaque any more than I need. It's like, it's a plaque, congratulations. It was damaged, we saw it. Okay, great, love that for us. Can we get some other topics, please? I thought maybe because of Kuwait, but think about it. You, they have YouTubers everywhere in the world, so they gotta be up to up to par with the shipping. You know, this hot sauce, this is Saudi Red Rooster. Taco kit night, it used to be a regular thing growing up. Well, the old El Paso kit, by the way, this is an imported product here. So it's like 11 bucks US <laughs> for this taco kit, but it's worth it right now. I did a cameo today and the person was like, I love tacos. And I was like, me too. Tacos. I don't know, that's how my brain works. Anyway, I had a coupon for free delivery on groceries. I mean, free besides tip there, but we also had enough points for like 3KD off, which is like 12 bucks. I'm like, I'm ordering tacos and making my own. And there you have it. But yeah, what we used to eat, like growing up, my mom used to make. Whenever you want to tell us, let us know. We'll be here. It was like a consistent pattern. One night would be shepherd's pie or cottage pie. Um, one night spaghetti, spaghetti a lot, meat sauce, garlic bread, Caesar salad. My mom loves making Caesar salad. Like it was coleslaw homemade or Caesar salad. Um, Steak, baked potato, Caesar salad. And is 
there a reason why we're talking about food while currently eating food currently? Like, can we keep the topic off of food for right now? No? Okay, I didn't think so. Tacos. <laughs> Every time I would come home from school, I would see on the counter of the taco kit out and ready to go. My mom is that kind of person, like, she'll prepare things the night before, probably because she's so busy, but... And then, meatloaf. We'd order, like, maybe once a week. Oh. At one point, no ordering, hardly. I would get like a kid's meal or something sometimes. And then there would be like a lazy, easy night, like hot dogs, crap dinner, something like that. <laughs> Unless my step grandmother was coming over. She would make a she would make a lot of vegetables that we didn't like, my sister and I. So we would be in vegetable uneaten vegetable jail until we finished our like excuse me, our peas. You know? We never did. And at some point my mom was just like, okay, they're not gonna eat them, so I'll just we ate vegetables, just I didn't like peas. I wasn't a very fussy kid with food, as you can see. My sister, yeah. She's even fussy to this day, fussy to this day. Also on top of that, isn't your sister like uh, close to a decade difference slash younger than you though? I used to love salads, but with a lot of salad dressing in one day. I always used to make a fuss, I want to pour my own. And my mom was like, no, you're gonna put too much. So I was, one time I grabbed the bottle from her as a kid, I was beezing, and I squeezed it hard and the cap flew off. And the whole, almost the whole bottle of French drenched my salad. And she was like, see what happened? Now you're gonna eat it. And I think she was joking, but I actually said, okay, get me a spoon. <laughs> I never learned my lesson. I think the one time, though, I did learn my lesson. Nope. And here we are, like, three decades later. Here we are. Lesson, finally. With letting, like, I was young, so a kid. Anyway, letting my mom control my food. Or helping me with it. And not acting like an adult. We went to Red Lobster. One time as a kid, we went to Red Lobster. And uh, I insisted on having the whole lobster. I threw a tantrum. And my grandpa was like, fine, let her have the whole lobster. I'll pay for it. But you have to eat. You have to eat it, everything. So the waiter brings out a whole lobster. The antenna, the eyes. My grandfather cracked it open. And there was this, like, this is going to be gross, but you know how there's, like, that green stuff inside of a the non-edible part of a lobster? Well, some people eat that, I think, but it looked like the movie Alien, you know, when the alien, the cyborg gets cut in half and all the greens. But anyway, it... it, it, it it like traumatized me and I was like, okay, you got this. Of course I didn't eat it. And I was, I remember being in trouble for that, like, you know, for wasting it. I'm pretty sure they ate it. Somebody ate it, but it was to teach me a lesson, you know? Oh, anyway. Anyways, guys, that was so good. Oh my gosh. I was craving that. Okay, great. Um, still giving into cravings, even though you have diabetes and a lot of myriad of other health problems though, but we're still doing cravings. Wonderful. Yay. I actually haven't eaten since like 1 p.m. Like for oh, real. Shut up. I haven't eaten since 1 And do you think your diabetes is going, oh my gosh, thank you so much for not eating since 1 o'clock. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Like, it doesn't care. Shh. I know you're thinking, yeah, sure, you're eating it. People think five people eat every 10 minutes, and <clears throat> it's not always the case. I mean, I do eat a lot, but. We also um, saw you on live stream for multiple years in a row, man. We know your eating habits by now. You didn't get that skinny from eating dainty salads throughout the day. Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to blame it on having an overactive thyroid for my weight gain because I know it's not. My thyroid's fine. But anyway, um, yeah, I uh, I had a fatayer, which is like a bread. Um, and in the middle, they had, had labna and falafel so for breakfast. So Anyway, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you for having dinner with me. And uh, yeah. Okay, great. So that was probably one of the most boring slash annoying videos that she has ever uploaded. Every single day, I swear I say that every single time. It, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Not super surprising. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.